Hey guys, Nick here, and it looks like they've done it again. The battery barons at Stanford have created the holy grail of lithium ion batteries. They've worked out how to create a rugged lithium electrode that has almost four times the capacity of its outdated predecessors. And I think it goes without saying that this is big news for all smartphones, electric cars, and even the entire electronics industry. Let's check it out. So how exactly does a lithium ion battery work? Well, the battery's capacity is dictated by how many lithium ions can be sucked up into the anode during charging. In most lithium ion batteries, like the ones in your laptop and smartphone, the anode is made up of graphite, a very cheap and durable material that keeps its capacity over hundreds of charges. The only downside is that the useful capacity of graphite is actually quite low, and if we were to replace that with lithium as the anode, it has a specific capacity of more than 10 times that of graphite, but the downside is that it degrades very quickly and perhaps more importantly, it has a tendency to violently explode when brought into contact with the electrolyte. Fix these issues and we are in business, and that's exactly what the team at Stanford has managed to accomplish. Using interconnected carbon nanospheres, they've created lithium anodes that keep their capacity for over 150 charge cycles without exploding at the end. It's pretty awesome. Similar to other recent battery breakthroughs, nanotechnology is the key to Stanford's new lithium electrode. One of the main problems with lithium is that it expands dramatically when it absorbs ions during charging, creating cracks in the metal. Lithium ions then ooze out of these cracks, forming metal deposits called dendrites. These dendrites very quickly lower the battery's efficiency so that it's fairly useless after just a handful of cycles. To prevent these cracks and dendrites from forming, Stanford deposits a layer of carbon nanospheres on the surface of the lithium anode, and they are strong enough to maintain the lithium structural integrity, all the while conducting electricity so you you don't lose the battery's main use. Even better, the protective layer of nanospheres prevents the lithium from exploding. It's basically a win-win-win. In technical terms, the new lithium anode has a columbic efficiency of 99% after 150 cycles, just shy of the 99.9% .9 needed for a commercially viable design. But Stanford responds by saying, well, we're not quite to that 99.9% .9 threshold. We're where we need to be. We're close, and this is a significant improvement over any previous design. With some additional engineering and new electrolytes, we believe we can realize a practical and stable lithium metal anode that could power the next generation of rechargeable batteries. In that sense, I guess it's hard to argue with them. Applications abound when it comes to this tech, so keep your eyes open. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.